Do you know Hamo Bika? Mika? Hamo Bika. Bika. Yeah. Sounds familiar to me. I really listen to a lot of music. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, for me, I listen all day long to lots of different things because that's how I become creative at what I do. Welcome to Fan Show. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Ferris, tell us about your song, My Way. Uh, and your song is with uh, Mudit Tuhani. Okay, um, the song On My Way is being created right now, and it's a uh, it's English and Arabic together in a dance song, and it's about being um, being happy about the next place to go and the next thing to do, even though don't always know what it is, but we just keep moving, right? Do you think it's easy to uh, Egyptian, uh, public, uh, Egyptian audience uh, like you and listen to you? I think that um, the more I learn Arabic, the more Egyptian audience will enjoy <laughs> me um, and so that's what I'm working towards. Uh, Mahmoud Tuhami, what do you want to tell us about uh, the uh, Well, you know, when I was writing the music with him, my goal was to create a very specific thing, which was to create the um, Middle Eastern spiritual, you know, uh, vibe, mood with my vibe and mood, which is from the West. And so we wanted to create a sort of relationship between these two to prove how similar they are, that um, that love for God is one and everyone on earth <laughs> has the same thing, right? So that's pretty much why I wanted to create this. And um, uh, it, was a, it was a wonderful experience to have the Sufi chant with the Western melodies. Me too. Yeah. Uh, we are really the same in love, God, uh, but we are the same in the mood of songs. Um, the, the, the moods are different actually, the, the definitely similar as in human, you know, similar moods, but the flavor is very different, which makes it exciting and interesting. Uh, what Arabic songs do you like to listen? Artist and, uh, and song? Um, well, I really love, right now I'm listening to a lot of Arabic, um, rap and chop, so Marigon and, um... Uh, I'm actually working on a song with uh, Diasti. I don't know if you know this name. It's more Arabic street rap and um, pop music. I love Monir, Feruz, uh, Ahmed Diab. I love Amaki. I love Ahmed Miki. I love all of these artists, yeah. From the new singer, uh, do you know Wigs? Wigs, yeah. uh, yes, I do, but I I can't tell you what songs I listen to. Yeah, this is new for me today. Yeah. Do you understand anything from his songs? Not so much. No, um, just kind of the mood and the vibe is what I go for. Yeah. You mix between Arabic and uh, English also. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm not that familiar with it. I just heard about it today. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, do you know Hamu Bika? Mika? Hamo Bika. Bika. Yeah. Sounds familiar to me. I really listen to a lot of music, so <laughs> yeah. I mean, for me, I listen all day long to lots of different things because that's how I become creative at what I do. Mahraganat singer like Hamo Bika, Omar Kamel. Yes, 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 yes. Bintel Gren, do you listen to it? Yeah, I listen to everything, yeah. Do you can? No, I can't. <laughs> I know where you're going with this. <laughs> no, no, Madagon is very particular for Arabic speaking. Um, for me to be able to do it, I have to be here for like five years. I just got here 30 days ago. <laughs> A little too soon. Listen to Mabalash. You want me to sing Mabalash again with my really bad accent? Okay, great. <laughs> Ma balesh tariban tani ma balesh asayb aradina ma balesh tarif unatani ma balesh something like that <laughs> How do I satisfy my American audience Um in America it's such a big group of people so what you have to do is you have to really pick a particular genre to be in 
And whether I want to be in this genre or not, I play really beautiful piano. So it automatically goes into a particular genre. Um, and I've been successful at that because it's what I do. So. Uh, who's the most uh, popular uh, singer in America? Right now? Yeah. J-Lo. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because of the Super Bowl, probably, yeah. Uh, um, I went to Roa, and what do you visit in Egypt? Uh, yeah, I mainly spend my time in Luxor. I love Luxor, and I love Aswan. I love Hergada. I love, um, well, Cairo I've spent the most time in, but mainly in recording studios. And, yeah, I haven't really explored as much as I want to because I've been kind of stuck in Cairo recording music. But I, I do love Luxor, so that's my, my, my first love is Luxor. Why you look? Why you love uh, Malachi? Uh, I just it's you know it's got such an earthy taste to it, and I, it really tastes like Egypt to me, and I love garlic. So. <laughs> yes. I'll do it. Do what? When no. We, when we prepare Malachi, we, mm? we have to do something like shaha when we put it in soup. Oh, when you do the thing uh, like we, that. You have to. <gasps> <laughs> Every time they do it, I always do that. <laughs> no, when, when you prepare it, not when you eat it. Oh, no, not when you eat it. That's, that would be bad. What do I make? I have a very specific diet. So I actually have an Egyptian diet. I eat mainly grilled meats and rice and potato, tarjan, and uh, that's about it. I don't eat so much bread and things like that, but I make this wherever I go, so <laughs> I've gotten really good at it. Uh, what's your dream, uh, main dream? Right now? Yeah. My main dream is to successfully have a number one song in the Middle East of me performing a little bit of Arabic with English and having these two melodies be together in a song. This is my dream, to have this uh, be amazing. Oh, oh sad. Yeah. What makes me sad? Uh -huh. Um, what makes me sad is human suffering. Any kind of human suffering that is not um, because of someone's actions, like human suffering done to someone who is innocent, that makes me sad. What do you do to raise uh, human suffering from people? I think the only thing we can do is to keep doing positive things, to keep positive messages, positive actions, and not um, not being involved in the human suffering ourselves as much as we can. Uh, in the end, uh, what do you want to tell uh, Egyptian audience about you and your work? I want to say that I think Egypt is the best place in the world, clearly, because I've come here many times and this is where I want to live. And I really want Egyptians to stay the way they are because it's a very unique place, Egypt. The culture, the food, the people, the, the mentality is very unique in the world. And this is what I love about it so much. So I guess the message is don't change. Stay yourself, be true. And... Um, yeah, and be patient with me while I learn <laughs> Arabic. <laughs> thank you very it's much. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We are really thank you and welcome and fun show and Thank you. Shokran. <laughs>